elephant who likes to do what? Do you remember? He likes to play tricks and jokes, doesn't he? That Elmer, you never know what he's up to, right? Well, today we have another Elmer story, and I'm gonna show you the cover of this book because you're gonna see another elephant on the cover of this book that looks a little like Elmer, a little different, but a little the same. Oh, you see that? <laughs> Look, there's Elmer, and there's another elephant that looks kind of like Elmer because he's patchwork like Elmer, but he's not a rainbow patchwork. He's a black and white patchwork elephant, and his name, girls, is Wilbur. <laughs> so the name of our story today is Elmer and Wilbur. And of course, the author is David McKee, okay? Now we're gonna find out what kind of trick Elmer and Wilbur have got up their sleeves today. You wanna find out? I bet you do. And let's start our story, Elmer and Wilbur by David McKee. Elmer the Patchwork Elephant was waiting for his cousin Wilbur, who was coming to visit. He's late, said Elmer. Maybe he's lost. Let's go look for him. All right, so they're gonna go find Wilbur. Where is Wilbur? What does Wilbur look like? Asked an elephant. Wait and see, chuckled Elmer. But be careful, Wilbur likes to play tricks, especially with his voice. He's a ventriloquist. Mm, that's a big word, girls. Can you say ventriloquist? Ventriloquist it means they play uh, tricks with their voices, make them sound like somebody else. He can make his voice sound as if it's coming from a different place than where he is, from anywhere. This is fun, said an elephant as they started to search. It's kind of like hide and seek. Hmm, do you see Wilbur anywhere, girls? I don't see Wilbur either. Where is he? Suddenly they heard, Yo-ho, Elmer, I'm over here. And they rushed to where, to where the voice came from. Looking for me, asked a rather surprised tiger. Sorry, said Elmer, we thought you were my cousin. Very funny, Elmer, said the tiger. Maybe that's your cousin I hear shouting. All right, do you see Elmer? I mean, do you see Wilbur? I don't see Wilbur. Help, called the voice. Help, I've fallen into the pond. <gasps> he has, he has, I can see him, said an elephant. Silly, said Elmer, that's your own reflection. Keep looking, he's near, but not where his voice is. His voice sounded like it was in the pond, but it wasn't. And look, he just saw his own reflection in the pond, didn't he? They kept looking, but the voice kept coming from different places. Here I am, it called, or boo, to make them jump. It even came from down a rabbit hole. Down a rabbit hole. The rabbits popped out like popcorn. That's not funny, they said. Not funny at all. This, that's very silly. Right? <laughs> Wilbur's tricking everybody, isn't he? After a lot of searching, an elephant said, We'll never find him, Elmer. Let's give up. Wilbur, called Elmer. We give up. You can come out now. I can't. I'm stuck up a tree. Wilbur's voice said from above them. The elephants giggled. <laughs> He's very clever, said one. If you don't come, said Elmer, we'll have to go home without you. I am really stuck up a tree, said Wilbur's voice, and the elephants giggled again. Yeah, right. <laughs> Elmer, said an elephant, is Wilbur black and white? Yes, why, said Elmer. I peeked, said the elephant. He really is stuck up the tree. Uh-oh. Oh, he really is. Ah, he's right. Look, he's up in the tree. Stuck up in the tree. They all looked. There was Wilbur up a tree. Wilbur, gasped Elmer. How did you get up there? Never mind how I got up. How do I get down, said Wilbur. How is Wilbur going to get up down from that tree? I don't know. I have no idea, said Elmer, but we're hungry, so we're going home for supper. At least we know where you are now. Goodbye, Wilbur. See you tomorrow. 
I'm just gonna leave Lulu up in the tree. <laughs> With that, Elmer started to lead the other elephants away. Oh, Elmer, called Wilbur, don't leave me, I'm starving. <laughs> Do you think maybe Elmer's tricking Wilbur? Do you think he's really gonna leave him up in the tree? Ha ha, I was just teasing laughed Elmer, turning back to Wilbur. If you walk along the branch, it will bend down with your weight and we can help you down. Wilbur walked slowly along the branch. The branch began to bend down and when the elephants could reach it, they pulled the rest of the way and helped Wilbur off. So they had to work together, right, to get Wilbur down, but they did and Elmer was just tricking Wilbur. They weren't gonna leave him up in that tree. Thanks, said Wilbur. Now, where's that supper you were talking about? And then laughing and joking together, they all raced all the way home. There they go. Oh, girls. That, Wilbur and Elmer. That night, as they lay down to sleep, Elmer said, Good night, Wilbur. Good night, moon. A voice that seemed to come from the moon said, Good night, elephant. Sweet dreams. Elmer smiled and whispered, Wilbur? How did you get up that tree? But Wilbur was already fast asleep. Hmm, that's a great question. How did Wilbur get up that tree? Maybe that's a th something you should get girls think about. How did they? And how did he get up that tree? I don't know either. Well, till next time, we have another Elmer adventure. Bye-bye.